In 1913, it was discovered that a computer could drive a typewriter and word processing was born. The word processor is still with us today in the form of programs based on the typewriter with tab settings, rulers and sliders defining the margins. These programs are the source of all printed ink on paper that we read today. In 1962, it was discovered that a computer could drive a typesetting machine and typesetting programs were born. The conceptual model of these programs is the typeset galley, that is, the column of text exposed onto paper in a specific font, size and column width. In 1984, it was discovered that a computer could drive a xerographic copier and the laser printer was born. The laser printer started out imitating the way text came off a typewriter, but with the combination of the Apple Macintosh and Adobe Postscript, everything changed. The laser printer behaved like a typesetter, where we saw various fonts, sizes and weights of type. The common theme in these events is that text on screen is intended to represent what text will look like when printed. However, today, the surface of the screen is no longer a substitute for information on the printed page. The surface of the screen is the page.